from All Coin Bus Ladies. And I really, really don't feel like talking about the market or do any sort of reviews of coins. I just want to think about the sort of use cases that Bitcoin has and where actually can you pay with Bitcoin? And that's actually quite interesting. I had quite a lot of fun while doing this research and it was a bit of a different one because the market is quite depressing, even for someone like me. So guys, let me know in the comments if you have actually ever used Bitcoin to purchase anything before or you're still just holding it. And that's all you're going to do with Bitcoin for now. But we can see a welcome sign for Bitcoin in many shops and it's not just among investors. You can now buy just about anything with Bitcoins if you actually look in the right places. So here will be the 25 of the most surprising things that will attempt your digital wallet. And some are quite extraordinary and the other ones are just extraordinary ordinary. Oh, and guys, before we get on, remember to follow me at Alcoinstar on Twitter if you are not yet. So you can buy actually Maverick tickets. So Bitcoin skeptic turned backer Mark Cuban has told Coinders that his NBA franchise, Dallas Mavericks, will allow payments in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and possibly mm, some other cryptocurrencies starting in the 2018-2019 season. The next one we've got lap dances actually. So the Las Vegas Gentlemen's Club known as the Legends Room accepts Bitcoin and anything else traded on the Bitrex exchange as payment for all the club has to offer from beverages to you know lap dances and if you leave your digital wallet at home so to speak the club's bitcoin atms will help you out the next one will be the fact that you can get a brazilian butt lift so the manhattan based plastic surgery practice body sculpt says is the first in the big apple to accept bitcoins for the aforementioned posterior procedure and all of its other services including the lipo section so if anyone has been there definitely let us know how that works out next we have the Burger King, and that will be in Netherlands. And when it started accepting Bitcoins in 2016, it went all in and offered one free whooper for every whooper purchase with digital currency. I mean, what a way to actually get people to use cryptocurrency by giving away a free burger. Personally, I'm not a fan of a Burger King, but that's just, you know, a personal opinion. So we also have the vote counters. If you've got big numbers that need to be crunched or perhaps Oscar votes that need to be counted, then you'll be pleased to know that the global accounting giant PwC accepts its first Bitcoin payment in 2017. It'll be almost a year actually that it happened from what I can see over here. So the next thing we've got is funerals. And you know, it's a bit depressing one, but if you ever find yourself and your Bitcoins in St. Paul Min, and in need of a casket, then you're in luck. The Crescent Tide Funerals cremation is there for both of you with a 3% discount. The next thing you can actually buy with Bitcoin are guns. So the Central Texas Gun Works pioneered Bitcoin purchases among Texas firearms dealers in 2014. And the Austin-based store accepts Bitcoins for online and in-store sales. And that's as much as I'm going to say about the guns, but you can buy it with Bitcoin. So there we go. The next one we have are actually Rolex watches. And to be fair, it was only a matter of time until Bitcoin made its way into the luxury goods market. And the online luxury watch retailer, JaviEstrella.com, has opened its marketplace to the digital currency. Next will be, you know, mattresses. So basically, um, what happened was 15 minutes after the online mattress retailer, Ghost Beds, began accepting Bitcoin. Its CEO says it precedes its first Bitcoin sale, which is actually quite a good sign. And, you know, I mean, a good night's sleep is, of course, a priceless thing. And we know how much it can influence on your mood in the day. Anyway, the next thing we've got are headlights. So in 2017, the Florida-based online auto headlight store, uzuka.com, if I said it wrong, I am really sorry. Uh, but basically, they announced that they're accepting Bitcoin now. So, you know, the good old Bitcoin accepted here has been released. The next one will be pretty much about anything in Japan. And Japan's always been huge, massive on technology. I've got friends who literally just came back from Japan and I am so jealous. I've always wanted to go there for various reasons. And they did say that there is lots of Bitcoin accepted here signs all over the place. But the one I want to talk about today here now is one of the recent converts is Big Camera and that's basically Japan's largest electronics retailer. So that basically speaks for itself and I don't think I really need to say much more about it. The next one will be cheesy fries. I don't know what about you guys in America if you guys are fans of it but I absolutely love cheesy fries especially after a night out. So 
what it goes is that from the starters to the sandwiches, all the many items at the Great Lost Beer in Portland, Maine can be purchased for cash, credit cards, or Bitcoin. And you know, sorry, no personal checks, as the many notes over here. And once you had your cheesy fries, or alongside with the cheesy fries, you do need a beer. And that's, I think, one of the best news for all of us, the Bitcoin enthusiasts. Maybe that the pubs were among the earliest adopters and most ardent supporters of the currency. So the historic place is actually the old Fitzroy in Sydney, for instance, which became Australia's first Bitcoin-friendly bar. And that is in 2013. And it's quite interesting to see that pub owners are more aware of the possibilities that Bitcoin has than some of the institutional investors. Anyway, the next one is basically the gorgeous, gorgeous residential sanctuary. And there are some awesome looking properties showcased on Bitcoin real estate website. And one favorite I think I saw was the eight bedroom, six living room, seven bathroom Australian abode recently on the market for the Bitcoin equivalent of three and a half million dollars. It's absolutely amazing. And who wouldn't want to own a land bought with Bitcoin? Imagine that. The next one will be one of my favorite. If you guys follow me, you know that I love Tesla. So in, in 2016, Mason Borda, now the CEO of the cryptocurrency security firm Tokensoft, said he pre-ordered the pride of Elon Musk's garage with bitcoins. Then we have meatball marinara sandwiches or whatever is your favorite. So in 2013, a Pennsylvania businessman made news for opening up his Allentown-based subway to bitcoin sales. The next one will be actually something I think we all do and it makes a lot of sense is my face covering it. Um, is that the taxi rides if you're in Argentina and Hungary you can hop into a Bitcoin friendly cab and I think that's quite amazing. Next one will be one of my favorites so basically at JM Bullion you can use Bitcoin to purchase gold coins and other precious metals or to put it in another way you can use currency to buy currency or a store of value I would even say. The next one will be aeroplane tickets. So online travel booking sites such as Expedia and Cheaper.com accepts Bitcoin. But I think a special shout out is in order for Air Baltic and not because it flies to Latvia but all, and other parts of Europe and the Middle East. But because in 2014 it became actually the first airline in the world to accept Bitcoin for those flights. So that is the worst shout out definitely. The next one will be my next favorite. There's a lot of favorites in this video right now. So it will be espresso basically. So like pubs, coffee bars love them some Bitcoin as well. And in Prague, which is the capital of Czech Republic, if people don't know, because you know, videos from all over the world. In fact, and Bitcoin coffee only accepts a digital currency. So this is quite an interesting concept. And if you guys have been to Prague, I have and I actually didn't know about it then I really regret it as I would definitely take a selfie and give them a high five because they're doing an absolutely amazing job. And basically I highly recommend Prague, beautiful city. And if you guys enjoy a bit of a nightlife with people from all over the world, it's, it's just a place to be. The next one will be some sort of alternative comics. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any legit article to show you guys the website of there is down. But the point is that in 2014, LA's Meltdown Comics claimed the honor of being the first brick and mortar comic bookshop to accept Bitcoin for its purchases. So from one geeky thing to another geeky thing, it's just great connection, I personally think. Another thing will be something I personally do use and it'll be a hemp oil and hemp oil product, especially being hemp oil soap. And this product actually may be the perfect marriage of progressive talking points, hemp oil, handmade soap and cutting edge currency. And the original bit soaps were even look like bitcoins, which is quite cool, I think. And that might be a, a nice Christmas gift if anyone's thinking of it. I definitely am. The next one will be Powerball tickets. So if you're in Minnesota or New Hampshire, the Jackpocket app will let you buy lottery tickets via your phone and credit cards and Bitcoin are accepted basically. So it's quite a nice way of adding it together. And the last one, but definitely not least, is that good karma. So charities such as Hey for International and Otter Speaks accept donations via Bitcoin. So guys, let me know if you did enjoy a video like that, if you'd like me to do more videos that are cryptocurrency related, but not necessarily our review of a crypto. Remember to follow me at All Queen Sarah, subscribe to Welcome Best Ladies if you like the video, and definitely check out some more. Hit the like button, it honestly means the world to me if you enjoyed the video, and it'll be a good guidance. 
if I should carry on making those ones. So have a good weekend and I hope to catch you later. Bye bye.